so basic intention of this session is because lot of you know people, lot of doctors after doing mbbs they are in a dilemma whether they have to pursue upsc or they have to prefer for neat pg post year mbbs so this dilemma is very common and uh, in this video i will try to you know decode this dilemma and help you to make a decision and uh, i will also give a brief introduction about how what exactly is the pattern of civil services examination and what are the pros or cons of taking it and what are the myths associated with this examination so in this session we will briefly go through these important aspects so to begin with first i will give a brief introduction about civil services examination so popularly this examination is called ias examination it is a examination for all the group a services of the government of india like ias ifa ips ifs irs like that there are many or more than uh, 20 services are there and this is examination for the all of them and it is conducted every year in three stages first one is prelims second is mains and then there is interview and uh, when it comes to eligibility one should have a degree in any you know stream so in that way all the doctors are uh, like uh, uh, automatically eligible for this examination and uh, number of attempts are general merit candidates will have six attempts till they attain a age of 32 years and obc candidates will have nine attempts till they attain 35 years of age scst candidates will have unlimited attempt till they attain 37 years of age and uh, now i will give like what exactly a career in civil services be like and uh, so uh, what it usually offers the firstly the civil services examination gives you scope to serve in diverse areas like education rural development agriculture etc so basic intention of uh, you know many people like when people uh, from non medical background also is that it, the civil services gives an opportunity to serve and your doctors naturally have a, you know service aspect in their profession but uh, it is only with respect to health but by entering into civil services you can work in diverse areas and second thing is civil services gives a power and prestige so in like uh, our indian society is still in a colonial mindset so in that way um, ias is still like th thought of as a uh, you know powerful and prestigious position so that is the one thing uh, one important point and next thing is it gives opportunity to work in key positions at an younger age to give you a perspective for example if there is a position of dean or a director of a medical college so if from a medical career if you want to attain that position you have to work for 30 40 years but the same position like uh, like positions with same you know uh, level or same stature one can get uh, just after 4 to 5 years of service in ias so that is the important advantage and next it gives ability to influence government decisions so many people will have a lot of uh, you know good ideas but uh, there is no one to listen them but if you get into civil services what happens is your ideas can come into practice by influencing government decisions and next there is a need for more doctors to be in civil services usually civil services in a democratic country like india needs people coming from diverse backgrounds so there is need for more of doctors in civil services so that is a, you know, for that purpose if more of doctors should enter into ias and lastly it gives a secure career with you know all the perks that are associated with civil services and uh, as we can see uh, medical career is becoming challenging day every year and the competition is become fierce so it respect but once you clear the civil services examination your career is relatively you know uh, secure next we will go more on uh, see we'll see like how should one decide he should go for civil services post their mbbs so firstly what i would say is it is purely a choice and a personal decision and both the career medical as well as civil services give a equal opportunity uh, to serve people and both have same prestige and prospects and it all depends upon your mindset whether you choose this or that and secondly one should have interest in administration want to engage with people in multiple dimensions as i have said for example if you are already doing internship or uh, you would have already come to know whether you are enjoying doing surgeries whether you are enjoying you know working in a clinical role with the patients then uh, continuing as a doctor is the thing for you but if you are have interest in administration if you want to engage uh, like interest in engaging the society with respect to polity economics and social aspects so in that way civil services is a uh, you know option for you then thirdly this uh, civil services is a relatively less knowledge intensive and you can set get settled early if you get selected and uh, because the basic intention is your medical career is very highly knowledge intensive a good doctor is uh, is the one who has studied well and who can apply his knowledge well so so <coughs> but in civil services the performance depends more upon your common sense and your ethical uh, you know values 
and uh, fourth one is for somebody who is not passionate about medicine who want to change their career they always regretted being a doctor then they can also enter into civil services and lastly there is a high chance that you can still fail and so even if you fail experience of giving this exam widens your horizons and improves your personality and it also gives you maturity to face life and uh, briefly we will go through the pattern of csc csc will be in first three stages as i have told prelims mains and interview and prelims uh, is mainly mcq pattern examination and there are two patterns of 200 marks each and uh, paper one will have general studies and the marks in this paper alone decides your entry to mains and paper two is a csat that is civil services aptitude test and this csat is a qualifying nature one has to just score you know one third of the marks that is 67 out of 200 to qualify and uh, next mains mains there are totally nine papers and out of those nine papers two are language papers that is english and any other regional language that you can choose and the marks in these papers won't be counted they are only passing in nature and the standard of uh, you no know, difficulty is up to 10 standard and there are four general studies papers each carrying 250 marks and one essay paper carrying 250 marks and one can choose any optional and there are two papers of that optional carrying 250 each so total 500 marks so total mains marks will become 1750 that is seven papers of 250 marks each so like except those language papers seven papers are counted each carries 250 marks so that will amount to 1750 marks and then interview carries 275 marks and total it will come to 225 marks and out of that how much you will score you know, decides your rank and uh, as i already told optional one can choose so there is a whole list of different optionals uh, this is a screenshot directly from the upsc uh, you know uh, notification there are like agriculture animal as an entry veterinary science so there are many options out there so it will um, the even literature options are there and so one can choose any option among these and uh, as you can see you know every page of upsc notification they have written government strives to have a workforce which reflects gender balance and women candidates are encouraged to apply so the one more take message from this session is like upsc wants more women to be in civil services and uh, so more of women should you know uh, attempt this examination then we'll move to the next slide so there are many myths associated with this exam and i will clear few of them first thing is whether it is a very difficult exam no it is especially it is not difficult for medicos because it doesn't need much of intelligence it needs more of patience and perseverance so uh, people with just average intelligence can easily clear this exam uh, if they're hard working if they have patience and perseverance and second thing is it requires advanced level of english speaking or writing no, definitely doesn't require very advanced level of English, just it requires simple English of 10th standard level in which one can express uh, easily and uh, because as uh, with my experience what I have seen is people who write in a very simple lucid language get more marks than people who write in a, you know, that uh, decorative English with uh, high five words and all. And thirdly, whether it needs preparation from childhood or graduation whether one should be you know, seriously reading newspapers and not from childhood no no that is not at all required it's just even people who totally don't have a you know, idea of uh, you know, newspapers and all also easily can easily clear this exam they just need one year of serious preparation before the exam many people who have just done one year of preparation uh, can clear it in first attempt and if everything falls in their way and lastly with respect to coaching and coaching i think it is not must it helps to focus and streamline your preparation but it is not must and nowadays there are a lot of online resources are there one can rely on them also and then what are the cons or downsides of taking civil services examination the first thing is it is very unpredictable and very uncertain and it luck plays a huge role in this examination as i have said selection ratio is also less and there are a lot of subjective things comes into picture now that makes this exam very unpredictable and uh, just because you are intelligent and hard working doesn't mean you will get selected even you should have a you know things working to, in your favor second is develop optional on result so this is also a thing that makes uh, this exam unpredictable because the op the performance of optionals keep changing every year so the optional you have selected if that performs well that year then your chances of getting selected will become high and if that doesn't perform well then it becomes less that is the problem and third thing it required good presentation handwriting skills as uh, we have already seen the doctors usually have a poor handwriting and uh, so, but that is not gen we should not generalize but uh, that is the majority people so that is the but many but in a way this is also positive for the people who have good presentation skills and uh, next fourth one is it is like a chakra viva. you can enter easily but the exit becomes very difficult in case of failure so one should uh, have a plan b if they fail to make you know get in, get selected so what I would suggest is one should not look for any plan B in their first two to three attempts, but when they, they go for their fourth attempt and all, then they should look for an alternative what they will do next. 
and uh, next one is civil services career is not always as rosy as it is pursued because it has its own challenges and difficult IAS is, is not an easy job uh, one should work in different states one should work in remote areas one should be dealing with uh, you know very difficult situations riots political interference so in that way it has its own difficulties so it is not you know not as uh, good as it is shown in movies at all needs lot of patience and perseverance that's why the support from family is very crucial unless you have a good support from family it is very difficult to you know keep uh, motivation up for a long time so lastly i would want to conclude with a quote by paulo selo from the book alchemist there is only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve that is the fear of failure so so don't fear about failure just think it is a natural possibility and more if you are really interested as i have said it is just a personal decision if you are really interested then prepare well strategy make a good strategy to uh, talk to talk first talk to people who have already have good experience and uh, work hard and uh, don't get disappointed with initial uh, failures and all and move ahead and you can easily be, you can definitely become successful if you have that uh, you know uh, believe in yourself and if you are ready to work towards your goal